We're back and today we're going to do something really awesome. We're going to get Christian's GR Yaris into the workshop. We are then going to remove the engine, pull it to pieces, and then we're going to turn it into an SRD fully built GR Yaris. Anyway, guys, let's... What's the other thing I did? So we've got Christian's GI Yaris behind us. We're nearly ready to take the engine out. All of the bolts are undone for the subframe and the engine mounts. Anyway, let's get Lee to press the button and get this engine out of this car and then we get away. Christian, your engine is out of your car. So now I've got the engine off of the subframe. It's fairly easy to work on actually, this car. I'm enjoying it. Everything's going to plan. Everything's nice and clean because it's brand new. I've got the engine on the engine stand. Now I'm going to do a time lapse and strip all the ancillaries off the engine, box it all up, and then we get onto the engine building side of it. Anyway, this is part one. So sit back, enjoy, and have a beer maybe. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the weather because it's been absolutely awesome down south. Um, but yeah, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, helps the channel grow, hit the notification bell, share the videos. But this is part one of uh, Christian 600 horsepower GI Yaris. Let's go for it. So that's episode one, pretty much wrapped up. The engine's out of the car, it's on the engine stand. All the ancillaries are off the engine. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty easy to work on. Um, first one I've taken apart, following tech data and tech doc information is pretty simple. Uh, come apart really well. So yeah, they're actually not too bad to work on. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to this series. Uh, next week I'll do uh, episode two, where we pull block apart and then start doing the assembly for the new pistons and rods and uh, balancing and flywheel and clutch and front pulley and all the stuff that you need to make them reliable at 600 horsepower.